So anyway, let me tell you how these things work, because everybody says, you know, how big a skid steer you got to have? How small a skid steer? What's the horsepower? What's this? Well, here's how they were designed. Let's say you've got a 65 horsepower skid steer, and um, and you want to, and you need to use one of these augers. So all of them are designed with a two inch hex coupling right here. Um, we don't want you to shear a bolt 14 feet in the ground and not be able to get the auger out. So we put a hex drive on. You can put uh, a shear bolt coupling at the top if you want. If you have to go deep, we've had them as far as 14 feet deep. Two inch hex coupling here, okay? So this, this runs the auger. Now, the way they're designed is this. This one is completely extended out. But you say, how do they work, okay? So when you pick this up with an auger, with, or with a skid steer, all this folds back into this position. And you say, well, so it folds back in, so it'll go down in the hole, okay? So then once the base hits the bottom of the hole, and you start pushing on it, and let's say it's really muddy, so you don't have to push very hard, and um, you take the skid steer, you push down a little bit, and you start cutting. Usually in two or three revolutions, it's got as much in it as it needs. So then you stop turning, pick the auger back up, it collapses the things back in, pulls the dirt inside, take it out, shake it loose, it dumps, go back in, cut some more. Then once you get to the desired width that you want, then, you, then, you, then you're done. But what happens is, this load is transferred, now you see a distance here, this connection is connected to the bottom plate, okay? And this connection up here is hinged off of these, off your top plate. So as you push down, this gets longer, which forces the arms out, okay? That's how they work. Your skid steer, you the operator, learn how hard to push, how hard not to push. And uh, that dictates how much cut you get. So anyway, that's how they work. Um, high horsepower skid steer is no more advantageous than a 65 horsepower skid steer. Um, it's all done with orbit motors and hydraulic flow. That's the way it works, and down pressure. Anyway, um, the base plate captures the dirt, holds it in place so you can pull it out, throw it away. That's how it cleans the hole out. Now the little one on the side didn't need the holding plates and what we found out in muddy conditions, it holds the mud in, you can't get them cleaned out. One of the things we wanted to do, whether it was muddy or dry, we wanted it to clean itself out. So you see these others have got taller sides on them, a little bit of dirt carrier up here, that's what that does, have holes the clods in so that it maximizes the load that can be pulled out. Anyway, they're all basically work off the same principle um, and anyway they all double the size if it's a 12 it goes to 24 if it's a 9 it goes to 18 if it's an 18 it goes to 36 if it's a 24 it goes to 48 so they all double the size of the of the hole that they make and you say well why don't you just make one do the whole thing not that simple okay it, it just doesn't work out so we made multiple sizes. Um, we're trying to get them to where people, rental companies will take them, dealers will rent them out. But I will tell you this, every one of them that go out work very well. We we've, we've just don't have any negative feedback on these units. And if we do have ideas that someone passes along that we can make uh, alterations on them, it doesn't and it doesn't make them weaker we will try to implement them we want them to work really really good we want them to be economical we want them to be money makers for you that's what the deal is and be safe so gives you a maximum structure minimum amount of effort and hopefully that's something that you can see as a benefit for you and your crews and um, be a safer product to use so this one's in the lock position. That's what this black handle is. We're, we are changing that to where it's a pin, but this is a safety deal so it doesn't come in or come out, pinch your fingers. You want to keep your hands and everything clear of here because this stuff moves and it's heavy and it can hurt you pretty bad. But, so this, this, depth gauge, this gauge right here is showing um, 22 to 24 inches. 
Now, when you pick this out, these blades you can see are a little bit past this base. So when you pick it up, that gauge will go clear down to 18 inches. Okay? Right now with it in the lock position, they flare out a little bit, no big deal. That's just the way they, that's a transport pin. <clears throat> so you see, this one is all the way maxed out. Gauge is clear up here to 36. Okay? That tells you you've reached maximum width. This would be two inches short of maximum width, 32, 30, 28. So the wider the hole gets, the farther them blades come out, the higher this will get. Like I said, if you just need a 24 inch hole, go in there and make a couple of cuts and come back out and you've got your hole to the width you need to be. So anyway, and then again, when you're ready for clean out, pull it out, dump the dirt that's on the, it's in the, in the uh, auger, shake it back loose, stick it back in there, push down on it, rotate it backwards two or three times, and you've got a perfectly polished um, solid floor with no crumbs. Sitting here in the stands, you can't see it, but every one of these down in that pipe have a stem sticking down the bottom, okay? Different sizes, the stem sticks down farther. You say, well, what do you need a stem sticking down there for? So, when you dig your hole with your regular auger, there is a threaded little uh, uh, curly cue at the bottom that centers your auger and keeps it digging straight, okay? So that disturbs about six inches of dirt at the bottom of that hole. So in order to keep these stable, because once you start belling, the sides of the hole are not there to hold the center of the, the auger, the bell auger is centered in the hole. So what we found out was six to nine inches on these, two small, the two small sizes is adequate, but the two bigger ones take a longer, the pin on the bottom is longer, and we'll shoot that at another time. But uh, anyway, that, uh, that, that keeps that auger stable and centered in the hole.